Welcome builders, and it is your here. Welcome back to the Village Transformation Series, Acacia style. You guys, as you just saw in the poll question there, you told me what should be next. It's going to be the butcher's house. We're going to be doing the butcher's house in this episode. But first of all, take a look at what we've already done. We've done the 5x5 five five house. We've done the church, the L-shaped house, the blacksmiths, and the farms. But big shout out to my hosts, Pickle Hosting, my sponsors. Check them out for a great Minecraft server. 15% off if you use the code ANDYISYODA. Let me know in the comments what should be next, the dirt house or the library or the well. That's what's coming up in the next episode. Alrighty, let's get this built. You're going to need yourself a standard Acacia butcher's house. Here it is here. Little butcher's house. Oh, by the way, reference block. Little reference block here. One, two, three, four. Count it out from the corner. Line it up with the grass. Put that reference block right there. We're going to need that. This is what we're building. It's pretty cool. The butcher lives in there and then they can walk up here and then they can live in this little house up here and enjoy time in the balcony and look down on the little piggies. There with a little pie, pie stand. Sty. Pigs. Stick pie. Pie. Stick. Stick. Place for pigs, right? And a little swing there. Okay, let's get this built. In today's episode, we're going to use acacia wood planks, acacia wood, acacia wood slab, cobblestone, cobblerami, acacia wood fence. We've got a chest, and in the chest we've got a sapling and some floors. And we've got a flower pot, or what I usually call it, a power pot, and a little bit of a gate. What do we use the gate for? Oh yes, for the piggy buddies. Right, let's get this built. So, first of all, let's grab some stubble cone. Um, we're going to go uh, two blocks out there from the corner, and then two more blocks on the side like that. And then we're just going to stitch this up here and boom, boom, in line like that. Wrap it over by three blocks like that. Boom, boom, boom. So there we go. There's our first little stage. And then around that we can put some acacia wood. Boom, 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 boom. Like that. Now we're going to destroy this fence here. We're going to destroy this fence like that. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to extend the cobblestone like this. Am I going too fast? Slow down, Andy. I think I'm not going too fast. I think this is all doable so far. Pretty co copyable. Uh, so extend your stubble cone kind of driveway patio, <coughs> if you will, a bit like that. Line it up with the window. Cool, 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 cool. Once you've done that, we're going to go one more block just there. We're building out this little extra pink sty over there. We're going to count for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Let me pause, let you catch up. Um, in fact, well, let me just go one, two, three, round the corner like that, and then the rest of this can be filled with grass. So, I will take my time filling with grass. How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. My castle video, if you didn't see that, it's done very well. 27,000 views in one day, which is fantastic. My castle build, really proud of that. So check that video out if you haven't caught my castle kind of time-lapse, how to build a castle kind of video. A little bit of more acacia fence. Um, then we're going to go for a count of four. One, two, three, four. And then it's time for the pigsty. One, two, three, four, five. You should have five blocks of pigsty there. And one, two, three, four blocks on that corner right there. Then we can really hem these piggies in like that. Leave a little gap for your very first gate of the show. There we go. So there we go. Let me just hover above there and let you see the 9 by 9 square, which is the pigsty. And what we can do is actually just finish off the pigsty. So to finish this off, put a couple of random blocks anywhere you like. I think somewhere like that is pretty good. Put some fences in. I'm going to leave that as a gap. And there we go. Then we're ready for our acacia wood slab. Just kind of pausing very slightly to let you catch up. We want uh, to hold up the slabs with this, like that. There we go, some slabs. I recorded this once already. <laughs> uh, and the recording messed up completely. And I edited it, and I rendered it for three hours. And that would, should have been the clue, Andy. Rendering for three hours, never a good idea. Um, usually means my recording is messed up. Coarse, coarse dirt. I didn't put it in the ingredients list, but I think the piggies would make some coarse dirt and it wouldn't be all nice fine grass would it be you could also put some hay as well hey hey i haven't put hay in the ingredients as well i'm just kind of adding in details now which is a bit ridiculous but you could put some hay 
like that. I quite like it when you do that and the hay just sort of sits there, a little hay feeder thingy. You could maybe put it there so it's easier for the farmer to get to, but I'm going into too much detail. Right, let's grab some water for the pigs and a cauldron and we're done with the pig, the pig station. You could leave it like that maybe, or you can kind of put it in the ground wherever you like. So there's water for the pigs. Right, now we want to go for uh, a special count of nine in total, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna double check this because I wanna get this absolutely perfect. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, but that's a that's one level up. So it's 10 bricks, 10 bricks of reference wool. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By the way, floating church, floating buildings, all for screenshots <laughs> for Andy. Okay, once you've come up 10 blocks here, so it's, it's four from the corner, four from the corner, and then 10 blocks up, we can actually go like this. We can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four. And what that does is make a seven by five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven by five uh, rectangle. And that's gonna be our little tree house. So once you've done that, you can just make yourself an ordinary little tree house with just these planks, not planks, but these acacia woods on the bottom. Um, we can stick some planks in here. Planks very much. <laughs> uh, like that. That's the base. And then we come up another three bricks. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to do this bit quite quickly because it's pretty easy. Yeah, pretty easy, right? You can copy that. We can get rid of our reference blocks now. So while I do that, you can kind of catch up if you're copying along. Or... You're not copying along, which is fine. You're just watching and enjoying. Um, or you're kind of inspired in making your own Acacia Villages, which is often the case. People are being really inspired from this transformation series and they've been doing their own things. Put in some windows. We can fit two windows in at the back and like that. Two windows. And one windy at the side. Oh, one windy at the side. We'll put a door here. Um, the door can go here, like that. And then we'll have room for one more little windy there. Pretty cool. Let's grab some doors and windies while we're at it. Hopefully this isn't too fast and you can kind of cope with the speed. It was just a 7 by 5 uh, Minecraft house. Pretty straightforward. I think it's doable. Doable, doable, doable. Right, we're going to put a roof on this. There's your important reference blocks for the roof. Once you've got them in place, the rest of it is pretty easy. I must say like that oops that and then we'll put a little slab on top as well and the slab can come to this end um, like that and then same on this end with your roof and that marks out the bare bones of your roof just like that and that goes there Pretty cool. Okay, yeah, and just put on a normal roof. There we go. Have you been getting some exercise or have you been watching way too many YouTube videos? I've been watching way too many YouTube videos. I thought I have been about four or five cycles in the last two weeks, so I'm really happy with that. Increasing my fitness. The fitter you are, the better your mind thinks, I think. The more creative you can be in Minecraft. So look after your fitness, get some exercise, guys, and uh, let me know. How much exercise you've been doing? Are you a sporty person anyway? Or do you have to dra drag yourself onto your bike, onto your treadmill, go for a walk, go for a run? Um, but I, I like cycling. I got a mountain bike, I go about my town and cycle. But we've got this cool route through the forest as well, which is really smart. It takes me about 40 minutes and I love it. So there we go. We've got a little tree house done. Put a door. Uh, did I put that door? I did put that door. Clever Andy, I put that door. Cool, so we've got a floating uh, house. <laughs> we need to join it up with the rest of the build. So we're gonna go for a count of 11 on the front of the house. Um, we're gonna add acacia wood planks there and then we're gonna go for this count of 11. So this is the tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. It should stick out by four right there. So let you catch up. Uh, three slabs are gonna go here. One, two, three. And then we're gonna slap down some more wood until we are two blocks away from the end. So there we go, two blocks 
away from the end. Pretty good so far. We're going to put a little reference block there and then add on five. One, two, three, four, five. Get rid of you. And then put on some more acacia fence in a minute. <laughs> in a minute. Uh, first of all, we're going to go there. So let me kind of just pause there, let you count the blocks, catch up with what we're doing. I don't want to go too fast. I don't want to go too fast. And then, ha, oh, one, two, three, like that. Uh, encroaching in the woods. So the idea behind this house really is that the house has either been built on the tree, or more likely the tree has kind of grown through and round the house. You may have planted a sapling and it's got way, way out of control. <laughs> Let's put a little block there and a little bit of acacia fence. So the idea is you've got a little bit of a kind of a, a walkway there. You've got a bit of a balcony here. You can say hi to your neighbors. Hello. Whoa, look at their house. <laughs> That's my Woodland Mansion transformation video on that. Check it out. Search for Woodland Mansion on my channel. Okay, so there's the butcher's house so far so good we're gonna just uh, encroach on the roof a bit more and do that as well which is cool um we're gonna stick the u out by one block as well and we're gonna come up here until we're one block further up than this one okay looking pretty smart so far i think this is fine i think this is fine um yeah it's all going good Right, what I'm going to do now is move around to this side of the build. This side of the build. Right, so once we're on this side, um, let's get this pretty accurate. I'm going to stick um, one block there and come up by three. One, two, three. Get rid of that block. Put that block there. This does not have to be block perfect. In fact, I think if you do make it block perfect, um, it's going to look a little bit weird. I mean... What do I mean by that? I just mean it's going to be almost impossible to copy what I do here. Anyway, once we're on this bit here, we're going to come up here um, and we're going to go up, 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 up until we're one more higher than that one there. One more brick higher than that one right there. Then I'm going to go one brick there, two, three, four, and get rid of that one. So it looks kind of like that so far. Again, Really doesn't need to be super accurate. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So that's a little bit of roots and tree kind of growing through the build, which I like. I kind of like it. I do. Um, okay, um, I'm going to come up here like that so it's nice and level, like that. And then kind of same again. One, two, three. Oops. One, two, three. So we've got this kind of triple, triple bit here so far. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. Let me put one brick right there above the window. It's okay so far. All right, this needs to come up until it's one higher than that one there, and we're going to join it like that. So that's the kind of step system we've got going on. Alrighty. Um, we're going to come up here with that one there. And then this is just going to just stick up a bit like that. There we are. So that is roughly, roughly what you want to be doing on the side of the build. Let me just kind of go in there. Let me show you the nooks and crannies and show you exactly where all the blocks are. But really, I wouldn't bother copying that absolutely supremely exactly. Not really all that necessary. Okay, let's go for another count of nine and make a little garden. So on that brick there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then just bring that round to about there is fine. And then just bring that across there like that. So that's a little garden and that could be filled with grass. I'm gonna do it very quickly with world edit. Fill it in with grass. And then around that, you can stick another fence. And of course, um, well, when I place this in the village, I'm probably gonna extend this garden. I wonder what that was for a minute. You built it, Andy, you plonker. Um, Something like that is pretty good, right? Extend your little fence around. There's a little garden, and we can have a little swing hanging down in a minute. But we need to finish our tree. So um, the idea is you actually climb, you climb up here um, to get onto the roof. You climb up your roof to get onto your roof. Does that make sense? Um, you could do something like that. Make a little higgledy-piggledy little 
staircase there. Higgledy piggledy. There we go. Up, 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 up like that. And that's going to get, we're going to go up here, you see, around the corner and up to, oh, <laughs> I've been doing that so many times this episode. There we go. We're back, we're back, we're back. Right, so put on a little bit of extra uh, steerage there. Official words, official words, steerage. Um, we're going to come up here. How far? How far do we come up? Um, huh. One, two, three, four, four, five, six. Would that do so far? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I think that's fine. I'm going to encroach here and here. I don't think that wants to come up by six. That's only coming up by five, like that. Um, yeah, this is okay. This is okay. I think this is okay so far. Yeah, um, this is okay. We're also going to put another block right there, I think, on the front. Hmm. Am I losing this? Am I losing this? No, there isn't a block there in the front. One, two... So that, this block, this is the one that changes, the block at the top. So we've got that kind of gap there, block at the top. Now that block at the top comes over by just one. Ah, this is it. You want to make it look like that. I think this looks cool. I think this is kind of just finishes it off really, really nicely. Um, let's bring kind of that up like that. Maybe stick a branch out like that. That would do. That would do. Don't want to get ridiculously, ridiculously detailed and fancy. This is definitely different from what I did over there, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Okay, what kind of does matter is the, the route. The route up to this, this little hoose up here. So what I'm going to do is just bring these slabs kind of down in this sort of pattern, alternate uh, little slabs like this one. Two, three, four, five, six, like that. That's looking all right. Pretty happy with that so far. Um, cannot complain. I think this is going fine. Um, 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 um. Right. Next, we want to just bring our staircase kind of around the corner slightly somehow. For some reason, this is different. Why is it? Why is it different? <laughs> Do I keep putting my house in the wrong place? Doesn't matter. I want the house roughly there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sweat. I'm not gonna just go crazy and go. Why is it different? I just want a rough guide to how this house is gonna be built. So what I want to do, fill in that one there as well, and extend this round. There we go. And then that can go like that. So there we go. That's not too bad. We've got kind of this little balcony going on here um, and what we can do is stick some fences on it so yeah difficult to copy this block for block I know I've kind of rushed this bit but just roughly roughly make yourself a little rusticky kind of little staircase up like that and if you want you can extend this fence around something like that there we go that would hold the fence up and you could do something like that there we go that looks pretty cool I like that um, if you don't like this little gap in here, you could just do that as well. Fill that up. There we go. A little staircase up. Um, what I do like to do is maybe just put on some more of these just to stop people falling off and breaking their little Minecraft heads. Like that. Oops. There we go. And a little bit of health and safety ladder on this side as well. Hopefully you're inspired by this and you can kind of just make up your own uh, butcher's house conversion because it is fun it's a lot of fun Let me just do that to hold that up there we go it's an awful lot of fun not exactly the same as I did over there but that's the joy of doing this it really is the joy of making this it doesn't turn out exactly the same each time I, f I find it impossible to make a tutorial <laughs> as complicated as this which is block for block perfect to mundo uh, like Carlos would say um, right tree this bit's going to be fast, guys. Ain't gonna lie. This bit is just going to just extend across like that to hold up our... Hold it up. It's got, everything's going to hold up the old treehouse 
here like that. So really just spam these blocks on until you think it looks kind of decent, wholesome, and strong enough to hold up. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. Let's bring that branch out there for a laugh. And maybe just bring that one out as well. Put a little tree on that. Maybe a little bit later on. And then once we're around here, we can just bring this out as well. Again, I'm just doing this roughly. Doesn't really matter if it's accurate or it's the same as mine. Honestly, it does not matter a jot. What does matter is you have fun placing the blocks. So something like that would be cool. And then we're nearly finished. Just a little balcony to do here. So um, stick that on like that. Let's do that. And that's cool. That's cool. And we can wrap it around the corner as well. It's a big, big, big balcony. Loads of space for the little villager person to live here. Oh, we've got to do the, the swing underneath as well, haven't we? Wrap that round. So there you go. You should be roughly happy with what you've done so far. Uh, you've got a tree kind of wrapping around the butcher's house. I'd be interested to see what you guys come up with. You'll probably come up with something slightly different to me, but that's cool. I like that. Um, awesome. Just going to plant some trees, I think. And we're nearly done. Oh, yeah, the swing. The swing, the swing, the thing. So the swing uh, sits under here. Bring this down. Little back garden. I don't know why butchers need a swing in their back garden, but for some reason, uh, it's a very happy butcher. Um, and uh, he or she swings about in their back garden. Um, so let's put the swing on here. I don't know. You've probably got some better swing designs than me. Maybe using some gates or something. Uh, but that's my that's my big swing there. There we go. So all that remains is to put on some trees and some grass like that. So let me grab some grass. Um, I've also made some little holes in here as well, which is <laughs> quite cool. Um, there we go. Things you can do on the inside of the butcher's house. You can remove all these blocks here if you wanted to. Um, so something we've kind of done in previous episodes. You can even... No, you can't remove them. You dumb, you dumb schmuck. You dumb schmuck, you can't remove them. Um, if you wanted, and you can make an upstairs area. So you could do something like that. You could maybe have a storage area up there. Um, or you could actually have another bedroom up there as well, if you wanted. But anyway, yeah, just add some details. <coughs> like that. Maybe a little bit of grass for the pigs. Uh, add some pigs. Um, and what else is to be done? You could make it look slightly more rustic like that and put some holes in it if you want. Little bits of misrepair, things that haven't been done properly. But what things I do like to do is definitely put on some power flots. And let's uh, grab some of these. So we'll go one, two, three. And put on some, yeah, this really does add a real nice touch. Should definitely do this. Add a little power flot there, and maybe a couple there, looks really nice. And then one, maybe one up here, just before you go in the door. Really does catch your eye when you do things like that. Really do love it. Um, <clears throat> little splashes of color. So there we go, that's the butcher's house, guys. You can see over here, it was very slightly subtly different, but not too bad. I've got another tree right here growing out the side. Um, so yeah, let's grow some trees um, and we'll see what this one turns out like. Oh, I need a sapling. I need a sapling and some moonbeal. I've got my sapling and let me grab, what am I calling it moonbeal? It's bone, is it bone meal or moonbeal? Moon, bone meal, there we go. That's the tree I got. Stand back and have a look. Oh, it grew up right around my door. Ah, I can't get in. There we go. That's cool, though. I like that detail. I do love that. That is pretty smart. Um, and we're going to do the same again. All right, and then we're going to place this in the village. Let's just remove you. See what kind of twee we get. There we go, that one looks pretty picturesque. Actually, what I might just do is that, and that is kind of block. Perfect, yeah. There we go. That is the butcher's house. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, we have to place this in, oh, one thing, I, I, one thing, one thing. 
I do usually like to do that. Just looks a lot better like that. Just sticks out the side. I did it over there and I completely forgot. So yeah, that just makes it look a little bit nicer. Who's here? And yeah, let's get this placed in the village. So here we go, the fun part. There it is. It's in place, already pasted. And I went a bit crazy and extended the garden at the back and maybe some more animal pens. And I think that's a sensible idea. You could have a lot of different animals in here. You could have sheep and pigs and chickens and ducks and whatever you get in Minecraft. But that'll do for this episode. Don't forget to let me know in the poll or the comments what's going to be next, Dirt House or the well or the library. And thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao. I'm in the blocks. Be with you.